I am a Muslim, call me. Let us take this Muslim. Hello? Go ahead, I hear you. Um, can they hear me? I hear you. Go ahead, my friend. You are a Muslim, you said? Yes, yes. What does that mean? Hmm? What does that I'm mean? A, I'm a revert Muslim, so... I'm what what does that mean? You are a Muslim. What does that mean? Muslim is somebody who uh, submits their will to Allah. It comes from the word Aslam, I think, in Arabic. It coming from a word what? Aslama or something like that. Yeah, Aslama means, means surrender. Yeah, to submit, yeah. No, not submit, surrender. There's a huge difference between surrender and submit. No, well, it means submit. No, it means surrender. You want, you want a bet? Well, go show me where in the Arabic dictionary it says surrender. Okay. When you say Shahada, do you have to be a believer to become a Muslim or you do not need to be a believer? Just say Shahada. Uh, you have to be, uh, what do you say that again? Listen carefully, my friend. If you say Shahada, do you, uh -huh. should you be, be a believer to say it or just say Shahada, you will be accepted as a Muslim? Well, a believer is somebody who believes in Allah. No, no, I'm not talking about the believer. See, the word believer, the, the second you say the word believer, you made an exception that he is a believer. This is another question I'm asking. Listen carefully. I know what I'm trying to say. I know already, my friend. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, are you trying to say Muslim and a believer is different because of the verse in the, in the Quran about the uh, certain group that pretended they were Muslim so they can get all the wealth of Islam and stuff like that? Fooled. So that when they pretended to be Muslims, what the Quran called them, what the name he gave them? He didn't give them a name. He just said Aslama, which is the Arabic word. Actually, he said that you've submitted, not be not believed. You see, you just told me that the word I said to you, what Muslim mean? You said to me Aslama. So are you saying to me that Allah, he called them Aslama? Comes. When it they comes from the word Aslama, but um, Aslama and Muslim are two different words. Aslama just means submit or surrender, whatever you say. I so asked you, what is what Muslim mean? You said to me, you said to me, mean submit. Does, yeah, but submit to what? Submit to Allah, innit? Yeah, but those people, are they are they believers? Are they believers or not? They are not. No. Okay, how the Quran called them? Uh -huh. People who submit according to you. If they do not submit, how they are submitting? You are the one who chose the Just, word submit, not me. They're submitting by, they're submitting by uh, following like, uh, how do I say, they're submitting simply because they're pretending that they're Muslims, but they're not really because they're just like uh, behaving like all the other Muslims. And uh, like when they're praying, they're praying and when they're fasting, they're fasting and they're just trying to like uh, be like the same as the Muslims. That's why Allah said, say that you've submitted amongst the Muslims and amongst the Prophet mm -hmm. as in society, but the belief has not entered your heart because you're fooling. Okay, I will go with you. Wonderful, guys. Those people, they are pretending. You are the one who said that, not me. That's what the verse says. They're okay, pretending. so they are pretending to be Muslims, yet Allah called them Muslims. Where, it says that he, where did he call it's them It's in front of you. Allah is saying to them, don't say we believe, say we are Muslims. No, he did not say, say we are Muslims. Why are yes, yes, here we go. Read it. You know Arabic. And you are an Arab. Okay, where is the... I can't see the screen. Hold on. Uh, read it for me. Go ahead. Okay, it says, yeah, the Bedouins, for faith has not entered your hearts. Read in Arabic, read in Arabic, read in Arabic. Hold on, where is the, I can't even see the verse. Chapter 49, verse number 14. Chapter what? 49, verse number 14. 49, verse 14, okay. Okay, where does it say Muslims? Though? Read, read, it, it, read, Muslims? The, read the Arabic and translate. Go ahead. Hold on, my friend.
قلاتي أو عربي أمانا قول لن تميئني وقين قولوا أسلاما Yeah, does where you say Muslim, bro? Mm. Are, are you a Somalian? No, I'm not. Do I sound like I'm not Somalian? Okay, there is no way. You said to me in the beginning, you said you are a revert, but you are saying the letter Qaf as anyone who speak Arabic. So there is no way that you do not, or you are revert. You are coming from a country, use I'm Arabic saying... letters. Listen, so you lie about being a revert. Secondly, a secondly, a secondly, it says in the front of us, قالت الأعراب آمنا قل لم تؤمنوا ولكن قولوا أسلمنا we become Muslims. No, where does why? You okay, know what so is your favorite? What is your favorite translation? Even though what you're saying it says. What is your favorite translation? So we put it in the screen. You can pick anyone, my friend. No, I'm not going to pick up anyone except the one you like. Actually, I shouldn't call you friend, friend, because you're you're not Muslim. So exactly, you cannot Islam. take a Christian and Jews as a friend. Chapter five, verse number fifty-one. So why you are calling me friend? You can be friendly. Uh, no, you are being a hypocrite. Let us face it. You are being a hypocrite. Okay, you are the process naqiyah. So now, give me, give me, my friend. Listen, I can call you friend, no problem. But even though I don't mean it really, but it's just a word to make you feel better. But let us see, in chapter forty-nine. In the translation, mm, so, in the translation, you choose. I will put in the screen. What translation you want? My friend, put a Sahih International. Go ahead. I, I will mind. go to Sahih International. Thank you very much. They choose so one. English, we will go for it. Muslim. Here we go. All right. English, okay. Whatever. I asked you in the beginning what the word Muslim mean. You said submitted. I, no, I, I did. Wait, go play. I said submit. Al Slama means submit. Exactly. I said Muslim. Okay. Submit. What Muslim mean? What Muslim mean? No, no. No, submit to Allah. Okay, they submit to Allah. They submit to Allah. No, they didn't submit to Allah. They so, no, what is the Muslim. word? What the word the Quran use? Aslamna. Yeah. We become Muslims. That's... Oh my God! You have basic. Okay, hold on. Let, uh, wanna... Which interpretation you like me to put for you in the screen so we can read it together? Let us see if it means they become Muslims or not. I just said to you, I just said to you. What interpretation you like me to put for you in the screen? Because you know what? I have a scholars who they are Muslims. They can make a judgment between me and you. Either you are saying the right thing or I'm the one saying the right thing. What scholar? Scholar, Muslim scholars. What scholar you want? Al-Qurtubi, Al-Tabari, Al-Jalalain. There's big ones. I know. Okay, go ahead. I mean, I mean, oh, you want me to pick a scholar now? Yeah. Okay, well, uh, show me. Uh, I don't mind, like Ibn Kathir or Al Qurtubi or whatever. I don't okay, mind. we want. We have to show something in English, correct? If you want, yeah, for them. Yeah. All right. This is the chapter forty-nine, verse number fourteen. Uh huh. All right. And remember, the whole idea is they are not Muslims. Yeah, no, it says you have not believed. They, they okay. There's a difference between trying to uh, imitate the Muslims and submit in the society okay. to pretend you're a Muslim, but you're still not a believer. Yeah, so... That's what I'm saying here. You okay. not believe, believe you're not believing, you have not, you don't believe in Allah okay. or anything like that, but you just submit, say you've submitted amongst the people. Well, as in when they submitted, do, do they obey the Prophet of Allah and Islam or they are hypocrite, they don't obey? No, they, 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 they're submitting, yes, but the belief is not there. I can follow you, All right. but that does, I, can, I can follow Prophet Muhammad, that doesn't mean so that I believe. So are they Prophet. now called Muslims or they are going to do jihad against them? Who? You said to me, you are the one who said they are hypocrite, correct? Yes. They're, okay, they're they are hypocrite what? They are hypocrite pagans or hypocrite Muslims? The Bedouins, they're peg, pagans, yeah. No, no, no. Now they say shahada. Where did they say Shahada? Okay, read with me, Tafsir Ibn Abbas, and this is the cousin of your prophet. Do you see my screen? Ibn Abbas, again, you're ignorant because Tafsir Ibn my Abbas friend. is in Islam, and you, and you want to talk about scholars, he's not accepted in Islam because the Tafsir is not fully uh, transmitted back to him. It's not? So why you call it Tafsir Ibn Abbas then? know that you 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 said you study of Islam, scholar of Islam, you don't even know that. Okay, hold on, thing. hold on. So you are saying to me, 
if the scholar of Islam is not the one who wrote the book, this is not his book, correct? Huh? Huh? You are saying to me, if this person himself is not the one who wrote the book, then this is not his book. Somebody else wrote the book of Ibn Abbas, saying Ibn Abbas said, correct? Well, it's, it's, we, it's, it's, uh, it's, a ta -ta 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 -ta. say yes. It's, my friend, it's lost, yes. Okay, it's not but that means everything in Islam is, is not valid because the Quran itself is not written by Muhammad. Al Bukhari, Al Bukhari is not written by Al Bukhari. Sahih Muslim is not written by Al by Sahih Muslim. None of your books is written by the Muslims. No, Who you claim the, them? Did Al Bukhari write Sahih Bukhari? Sahih Al Bukhari transmitted them. Yeah. Thank you. Transmitted. He did not did not have his book. Do you have the book of Sahih Muslim? No. That because it's not from him. It's from the Muslims before him. He came 200 years after. Thank you very much. But no, but you don't have the book. You claim now that this guy who said Ibn Abbas said, and this is what he interpreted, give interpretation. You don't accept it. Because Ibn Abbas uh, tafsir is lost. We cannot fully trust it. Is many. Well, do you have? Do you have Ibn? Do you have Al Bukhari? Al Bukhari. Yeah. Yes, we have Al Bukhari. No, you don't have. You don't have the original. You don't have a single copy of Al Bukhari. How do we not have a single copy? What of you have today is the student saying from 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 Al Bukhari said, "You don't have Al Bukhari book." Oh really? Yeah. yeah you don't even knows. have a single copy. This guy knows. This guy. Listen, listen. Guy I will go with you. I will go with you. But let us see. This is Ibn Abbas saying that those people they join Islam. <laughs> and they moved with their all their families and children to Medina. They joined Islam. You said to me, those are not Muslim yet. They did not join Islam. So why your book, regardless of who you see, when you Muslim publish it and print it and put it as a source of education, if it's not accepted, people will laugh at you. Imagine I write a book, Muslim don't accept it. And then what the Muslim they do? They put it in their library so they can, so the Muslim can learn from about Islam from me. But you don't know nothing about Islam. You My friend, you are the one who knows. Obviously, you just said to me, Ibn Abbas is not trustworthy. He's a donkey. I'm asking you if he is an idiot, if he is not the one who wrote the book, if this book is not valid, why the book is there and why you are teaching it to your children? He is not valid. I'm taking their word. They're more okay. knowledgeable. I want to ask you, is Ibn Kathir valid? Ibn Kathir, yes, he is, because I don't see nobody saying he's not. All right. No, I, I want you to be sure. Is he bad or not? I said to you, yes. Okay, wonderful. Let us go to Ibn Kathir then to save ourselves. I want to ask you a question. Don't, uh, don't change the topic. Let's finish this one, my friend. And it's then you can... One. Hold on. Hold on, my friend. Uh, 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 no, no, we don't change. We don't want, because I know Muslims, they change topic in the speed of light. Is Nobody is fast in changing topic as Muhammadan. You know, so let us finish the topic and then we can go and see. And now what you will and now what you will say to me, you will say to me, Ibn Kathir is not valid. Christian, you claim that you're a smart guy. You Listen, I did not claim anything. You said that, not me. You said you said I'm smart. You are, you are the one who said that. Now, listen, listen carefully. This is Ibn Kathir. This is Ibn Kathir. Listen, this is Ibn Kathir. It says here, I want to look with me in the screen. And you are the one who said you accept Ibn Kathir. It says, when they embraced Islam. <laughs> what? Huh? Why are you are laughing? You see, you are the one who said to me, you accept Ibn Kathir. I did your nice. choice. When they embraced Islam. Uh -huh. You said to me, oh no. Doesn't say they become Muslim. When they embraced Islam, do you know what that what he's talking about? Ah, embrace Islam doesn't mean they are Muslims. <laughs> do you know? Do you know? Hey, Christian Prince, do you know what he's mean? Do you, do you know what he mean? What embrace Islam mean? Go ahead, go ahead. You don't know what the, what what, the, what he's trying to say there. Oh, tell me, tell me. No, you see, I asked you, did they embrace Islam? You said no, they did not become Muslims. They are hypocrite. They did not they can become a Muslim. So you, I showed you Ibn Abbas. I can show you Jalalain. I can show you Al Qurtubi. I can show you every single stupid Muslim scholar. All of them, they say the you same. Show me Ibn Abbas. I showed Ibn Abbas. Yeah, the one before it. You forgot. Okay. I've already explained to you when it says that, uh, they've embraced. You jump like a monkey, saying Ibn Kathir. Here we go. This is Ibn Kathir. 
I can, that doesn't mean I, I can believe in it if I embrace something. Ah, I but you, okay, all. why you say to me, okay, I said to you, which scholar you agree with? You said Ibn Kathir. I said, do you really accept Ibn Kathir? He said, yeah, nobody oppose him. Suddenly you oppose him now. My friend, you said embraced, right? What embrace mean? Embrace means that if you like practice it or something, it doesn't mean you believe it. Ah, so embrace Islam. Thank you very much. You confirm what I'm saying. Thank you. You are helping me. So, guys, in Islam, if you embrace Islam, you practice Islam, you don't have, you don't have to believe in Islam. Just embrace Islam. Say shahada. Be hypocrite. Islam is religion. Islam is religion of hypocrisy. You can be satanic. You can be demonic. You can be pagan. Just embrace Islam. Practice it. Don't have faith no, in it. You know that's not true. Everybody knows it's what, not this true. what they're saying. Allah um, saying to them, say we are Muslims. Say, say, okay, listen, say we are Muslims for your faith. You have no faith. He is saying to them, say we are Muslims. Yeah, really. I, I give you, I'll, I'll give you 1,000 pounds if you show me where Allah says, say you are Muslims. It's just in the front of you. My friend, it says submit. Are you okay? Okay, I asked you in the beginning what Muslim mean. You said the one who submit. Submit to Allah. Is yes, they submit to who? They submit to Allah. They so, I mean, this is stupidity. So it's the same word, Muslim. They become Muslim. He says, where it says that? Where it says that? And now we show him Ibn Kathir. He don't want Ibn Kathir no more. Now listen, so what we learn from you right now, that you can be hypocrite and you will be called Muslims in Islam. Are they going to go to heaven? They're not going to go to heaven, no. So your prophet is a liar? Really? Isn't it your prophet is the one who said whoever says shahada will go to heaven? But they did not say the shahada. So how do they embrace Islam without saying shahada? They embraced Islam. You can embrace Islam by, by I just, like, the verse is explaining itself. They did not believe if they, if they said the shahada. Okay. Like, for example, actually, actually, let me say something. Don't, don't cut me off, mm. yeah, Mr. Princess. Mm. I can say the shahada to you, yeah, but mm. that, I, I don't necessarily believe in it. Okay, wonderful. Do you understand? Can you read for me the screen, please? So they, they could have said the shahada. Can you read for me the, okay, uh, can you read for me the screen? Well, it's different. I can say anything, huh? No, no, no. You see, the one who called himself Muslim is not them. Allah called them Muslims. They say, we believe. They did not say we are Muslim now. The, the, the objection is, they say we believe. Allah said to them, don't call yourself believer. Don't say we believe. Say we are Muslims. So you are so silly. You are now exposing your God. You just gave a spank to Muhammad. Read carefully. It says in the front of you, read with me. Say, this is the Quran. This is the translation. This is Ibn Kathir. Say, you do not believe. But say we are Muslims. So Allah is correcting them. He is saying to them, you should not say we believe. You should say we are Muslims. They never. They said that we believe to the prophet, yeah, but they were, they were, they were lying. Okay, no problem. So Allah is saying to them, "Don't say we believe, or you do not believe. Say we are Muslims." <laughs> oh my God! Don't say say don't say, "Oh my God." Say, "Oh my Allah." Listen, it's in the front of you. Allah is correcting them, saying, "You say He is correcting them. Don't say we believe. Say you do not believe, but say." We are Muslims. So the correct way to say, for in their case, to say we are Muslims, because the Muslim is the one who don't believe. Fantastic. Okay, can you show me some, uh, can you go to the next topic, because I explained it already. And no, you did you not. Really Why you are not reading Ibn Kathir? This is the book you asked me to open. It's in the front of you. Read it. Explained it to you, yeah. So, do you, agree, do you admit that you are lying to me or not? Wait, hold on. Say you do not believe, but say we are Muslims. Who says this? Allah. No, but what tafsir is this? You idiot, Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir, fantastic. Did he write this in English? Oh, he did not write it in English. Who is the one who wrote it? Allah. <laughs> so now we want to play the game of English. So the Muslims, when they write in English, my friend, they are lying, yes. correct? No, no, I want you to admit, I want you to admit that you Muslims, when you translate your books, you are a bunch of liars. We cannot trust your translation. Some Muslims are uh, uh, 
they 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 might not understand same as the bible there's many ah, translations okay okay same as the bible uh -huh, okay now listen 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 so i'm going to go with you now now what is the case for those people they will go to heaven or to hell they did not have belief so of course they're going to go to hell so why he is saying to them say we are muslims my friend, uh, he did not say, say we are Muslims, the Arabic is clear, Aslama means to submit, and I explained what he meant by submit, say you have submitted, okay. meaning that they do not cause uh, war against the Prophet or anything, they're, they're submitted amongst in the society, they're following Islam, but they do not believe in it, they're just following it so that they can get the wealth. The answer for you, my friend, just to show you how silly you are, you do not know your book, the answer for you, if you continue reading, you will see, it says, وَإِن تُطِيعُ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ if you obey Allah and the messenger, Allah, even though you are not a believer, Allah will not decrease any of your reward, of your deed. You see how stupid you are? You do not know your book. Read the verse. Here we go. But if you obey Allah, so they don't believe already. They don't believe. They are Muslims. But you, if you obey Allah and his messenger, he will not decrease any of in your reward for your deeds. Obey Prophet Muhammad, it, it says, right? It says, if you obey Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, yeah? exactly. So, but they don't believe that they're talking about the same people. So, if you obey the messenger and Allah, Allah will not, you said to me, they will not go to heaven. Hey, did he say, did the Prophet say that you have to believe in Allah? Listen, did you say they will not go to heaven? I said they will not go to heaven okay. because they're... this is Quran, this is not even hadith. This is Quran saying, but if you obey Allah and his messenger, he will not decrease any of your reward, your deed, you'll go to heaven. But they did not obey him. What do you mean they didn't obey him? They didn't obey him because he said that. Okay, I will go with you. Listen, guys, they don't obey him. Okay, okay. But are you saying now, if they obey him, even though they don't believe, they will go to heaven? <laughs> no. What do you mean now? It's in the front of you. Where does the saying the verse? That you you just confirmed to me. You just said everybody heard you, but they don't obey him. Did you say that now or no? What? You said you said not me, but they did not obey him. Did you say that? No, yes, they did not. Okay, obey, but, but Allah no, saying, you know. Because okay, hold on. Okay, so believe. what what is the condition of Allah to take them to heaven? If just obey Muhammad, even if they don't believe. So He's saying to them. Okay, you believe not. I know your heart never believes. But if you obey Muhammad, so all what is required is just to blindly obey Muhammad. You don't believe in Allah. You don't believe in Muhammad. You know he's a fraud. Just come on, do it. Okay, pray, bow down, bow down. Okay, say takbir, Allah Akbar. Say fast Ramadan, do jihad, kill the Christian, kill the Jews, you go to heaven. That's it. That's what the verse is saying. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Uh, isn't it true? Huh? Definitely, yeah. Are you are you are you trying to change topic now? I'm not trying to change topic. I'm trying to explain to you because you keep going on. Uh, what do you explain to me? The verse in front of you, and this is the. Ex are you going to explain the explanation? Where okay, read the verse where it says if you obey no. Allah and the Prophet, what well, does it say? You will go to Jannah. Or yes. Say you will go to yes. Horse? Yes. It says Jannah. Yeah. Yeah, they will go to heaven. Yeah, your decrees, your dec okay. your deed, any nothing, nothing will take your decree from you. Your deeds, your nothing deed, or of it. And this is the Ibn Kathir interpretation. And now you, you are going to you go, you are going to go you are going to go and listen, listen, listen. You are going to do interpretation for the interpretation, aren't you? You just read it, it decreed, uh, Allah does not decree the deeds or whatever you said there, yes? Decrees, 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 decrees. Yeah, yeah. reward for following, for obeying, yes? Yes, for obeying. So you will go to heaven. Oh, the rewards, yes, if I follow this. What is what this. is the reward, the reward of Muslim, what he will have it, in earth or in heaven? He will have it in the hereafter, not in heaven. Okay, he, he, in he, the hereafter. hereafter is not heaven in Islam? In judgment Day, you can, on Judgment Day. In Judgment Day, there is a reward? Yes. What is the reward? Allah, Allah, you don't know that? On Judgment no, Day, that we will, uh, depending how we behaved on Earth, that on Judgment Day, he uh, based on our rewards and stuff like that, good de if it's over bad deeds, then we will go to heaven. Okay, that's what I'm saying. They will go to heaven. This is the reward. Yeah, but... That so they will go to heaven. So Allah, no. He grant them the reward, just because they obey Muhammad, even though they don't believe in Allah. So... 
according to the Quran now, there is people who they are going, a big portion of Muslims, who they are Muslim by name, they will be in heaven, yet they don't believe in Allah. They don't believe in Muhammad, just because they obey Muhammad, they will be there. For it. They could get good deeds in the hereafter, but they, their bad deeds might overcome their good deeds because they're still... Listen, listen, doesn't matter, but they are considered as Muslims. That's why they have a license to go to heaven. So Allah will not decrease anything, which means you as a believer, them as non-believers is the same because Allah will not decrease your reward. Allah will not decrease their reward. Who will have reward? Only Muslims, correct? No, no. If anybody who follows him at that time... Whether they're fake or not, they will get No, anyone who obey Allah and his messenger. We Christian, we don't obey Allah, neither his messenger. So we will not go to heaven according to Islam based on this. Back then, but they live back then. They're talking about the people who... Doesn't matter, but now we are talking about supposedly people who they are Muslims and you call them hypocrite. They don't believe. They never believe. Faith never <laughs> enter their heart. And yet the Quran is saying, don't call yourself a believer, call yourself a Muslim. No, it says submit, and I explained what he meant by no, submitting. No, here we go. This is your Islamic website. It says we are Muslims. And I showed you, you know, you first I showed you embrace Islam. Suddenly embrace Islam does not mean become a Muslim. Then showed you, it says we are Muslim. Say we are Muslim, suddenly that doesn't mean Muslims. And then we showed you that Allah will not decree their reward even though they don't believe. And then you said to me, they will not go to heaven. They will not go to heaven because in Islam... So how, how he grant them reward if they would go to heaven? You, you reward reward is on judgment day because they followed even though they did not. I believe, ask you what is the reward in the judgment day? You said to me you go to heaven. No, I you see this guy doesn't listen to what I said. Did no, I, I listen. It's recorded. I ask you what is okay. Let me repeat the question again. What is the reward in the day of judgment? You will get good deeds, but your bad deeds will might overcome your. Good this is another question. What is the reward in the day of judgment? The reward on uh, day of judgment. Yeah. The reward is the final reward is to go to heaven. Here we go now. He's going to ask me for define reward. What is reward? You completely. He's the rewards that what? Uh, that you the rewards that they're gonna get for obeying Muhammad at that time, peace be upon him. Yeah, is not just going to heaven. Those are rewards for following him. It's called sunnah. Okay, you know what? I will go with you. Can you show me a reference? Can you show me a reference? Huh? Huh? Can you show me a reference? You show me reference where it says that these good rewards are for heaven. No, where it says that reward in the judgment day is not heaven. You read it to me there. You said that Allah will not decree your reward. Yes? Yeah, but you said they will have reward, but they won't go to heaven. They will have rewards because they follow, they're obeying him. But what is the reward? Are they going to go to heaven or not? They're going to get good deeds. I'm asking you, are they going to go to heaven or not? We don't know. A second ago, you said no. A second ago, a second ago, uh, I said no, yes, but we don't know. I mean, are you talking ah, about... A second ago, I said no, yes, no. Yeah, I know. I said yes, but no, you know, yes, no. You know, we are Muslims. We are following the Prophet, Mr. Yes, no. Everything is possible. We have no idea what we are talking about, you know. I said to you, yes, but I mean no. What, what, because we are a Muslim. When we say no, we mean yes. However, when a Muslim he insists that you say no, 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 that means yes, 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 yes. Because a Muslim, he is a hypocrite man. He say the opposite in a second to switch the, the direction of the electricity. Here is negative. Here is positive. A second after, it's the opposite because he likes to be a magnetized. No, no, I'm not. I'm not lying. I cannot, okay. okay so let us repeat the question again. Are they going to go to heaven, or they will not go to heaven? Already before huh? the Bedouins, the disbelievers. Allah said it in the verse. The verse you quoted earlier. They did not have belief. If you do not have a belief in of Allah and the last prophet, but you obey them, you will get rewards for obeying him. What yes, is the reward? Him. Good deeds. The rewards. It, rewards Abdul, the good belief. deed is not the reward. You're an idiot. The good deed is your action, is obedience. The obedience is the good deed. What is the reward? What is the what is the reward? The reward is good deeds. The, the, the good deed is something they did, not Allah. What are you talking about? <laughs> they did yes for obeying Him. Okay. What is the reward? The deed is their action, not God action. So your God, He will give them reward because they have good deed. They do good deed by obeying Muhammad. So what is the reward? We don't the good rewards just for following him. What is the reward? What is the reward? Ba, 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 ba. What is the reward? The good deeds overweigh the bad deeds. That, that, that. Abdul, what is the reward? 
I don't know the reward. Wait, 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 wait. What, isn't the Quran speak all of it about the reward? Two heaven for each one of you. How many heaven they would have? Two heaven or one? Oh my God. You have no clue, bro. Listen, Mr. Clue. How many heaven you will have? You as a Muslim. One heaven or two heaven or three heaven or five heaven? Uh, I'm not sure. I think the Quran is talking. I don't know, actually. So you are a Muslim calling me to correct me. You do not know even how many heaven you have? We in, in total seven, yeah. But I don't know how many heavens I'm going to You have to seven? Have. Where do you get this from? Huh? A Muslim, in, a Muslim, he have seven heaven. I didn't say he, I will have seven heavens in the hereafter. I'm saying in total okay. Allah has seven A Muslim, heavens. when he have a reward, we're talking about the reward. Focus with me. The reward of a Muslim, is it one heaven, two heaven, three heaven, five heaven? How many heaven? I think there's multiple gar gardens. I think the Quran talks about. I don't know. Uh, like so you give me an answer which is not an answer. So you avoid the spanking. I insist you can search Google right now and tell me. We are talking about the reward. Those people they would have a reward, and you are the one who mentioned. You keep mentioning they would have a reward. They will. So I'm asking you, they will have one heaven or two heaven or three heaven or four heaven, or maybe more. They, no, they will have no. Uh, they will have no. Um, uh, they will have no heaven because they're disbelievers, bro. You or just said to me they will have a reward. I asked what is the reward you said heaven? Let me refrain that for one second because I just I just remembered something. Ah. Yeah, you made me You are remember. suffering from memory rules like Muhammad, don't you? Yeah, like you, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, when if on the day of judgment people can be tested too. So if they die disbelievers, but they never really heard the message of Islam, they still could get tested on the day of judgment. And if they succeed that then they That's could deep. Up. How they never heard of the message of Islam? If Jesus is supposed to be a Muslim, he will rule the earth for 40 years and everybody will believe in him. So how, what you are saying, talking about everybody has heard about Islam? No, no. Uh, are no, you not. saying after death, there's an other, hold on. Are you saying after death, after death, in the day of resurrection, Allah will give you a chance again? Allah will give you uh, if you never heard about Islam. Yeah. Like Can you show me the reference? Yeah, because Allah in the Quran. Can you says, show me the reference? Uh, there's a verse in the Quran. Uh -huh. Yeah, it says that we do not punish a nation nation unless we send a messenger to it. Uh, okay, so and Allah cannot punish people unless uh, there's the message has been. Thank you. Them. You just confirm Islam to be false. You just admitted that Muhammad cannot be a messenger to all mankind. So Allah, he failed to give his message to all mankind. He's the messenger for all mankind. No, 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 no. Hold on. No, listen, listen, listen. Allah will not punish. Okay, hold on. Allah will not punish. Allah, hold on, hold on. I will go with you. Allah will not punish any nation unless he send them a messenger, correct? You want Muhammad, yeah, to go all the way to the Amazon jungles. And listen, all okay, I will go with you. I will go with you. Listen. So now Muhammad is dead. We live for 67 63 years. Okay. Muhammad is dead. Who is the messenger? He will come to those people in the jungle of Amazon. Huh? Huh? You said to me, are you saying to me that those in the jungle of Amazon they heard about Muhammad? Sure not. You said that now. So I'm asking you now, Muhammad is dead. Who is the messenger will come to the Amazon and warn them? My friend, there's no there's no messenger that came to that. No, you said you said Allah will not punish any nation unless He send them a messenger. Astaghfirullah. Huh? You said that. Yeah, I said that. Yes. Okay. So and you are that. the one who gave me the example. You said, are you saying to me that those who live in the jungle in Amazon they heard of Muhammad? Sure, they did not. And you said that Allah will send a messenger in the day of judgment as a warner to give them a chance. I'm asking you, are you saying to me there's a messenger will come after after Muhammad? What are you saying, bro? You make up your own words as you go along. No, this is what you said. Seen. Allah will not punish a nation unless he send them a messenger. And you are the one who called for me the Amazon. Unless the message has been clear, messenger is somebody who delivers the message. I can be a messenger. You could be a messenger. Ah, okay, but you are saying to me now, are you saying to me in the Amazon, there's people they never heard of Muhammad now? They have internet, they have electricity, they have computer, they have TV, they watch 9-11. They did not hear it. 
They did not hear it. And how can the people in Amazon here have electricity? Or they live in jungles. Ah, that's a good point. Okay. So how Allah now will send them a messenger? You said it's he will send you? Um, he's not going to send me, but I could be one of those messengers. But if Are you saying to me that you are a messenger like Prophet Muhammad, the messenger of Allah? Huh? Huh? Are you saying to me that a normal Muslim is a messenger of Allah too, like Muhammad? It's not. It's not like that. I'm not talking about that. Well, Muhammad is a messenger, and you say to me, it's maybe me. He's not just a messenger. He's a prophet. It's different. Huh? He's a messenger because he delivered a message, but he's also a prophet. I'm not a prophet. I could be a messenger who delivers the Quran to an atheist. But listen carefully, listen carefully. All Muslims agree, and I'm sure you agree too, but now you are in trouble, that there's uh, no messenger. I, one question about there is Muhammad. no messenger after Muhammad. Questions about this, about this. About there is no this. messenger after Muhammad. Do you agree or not? Like, let me ask you why the Bible Don't change the topic. If there is any messenger after Muhammad, confirm that. Let me show. Let me show. Uh, what? 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 Uh, you know? Uh, why you don't? You know? You should. You should be proud. So, can you promise me something? Can you download the video after we finish? Put it in your chat. Never let a Muslim asks asks you so many times about the Bible. You are terrified because you know it's false. Ah, the Bible is false. Okay, you want to change topic? Yeah, Bibles. Okay. You want to change topic? I want to change topic, yeah. Okay. Well, I don't want to change topic, but I've asked, I mean, you're just asking all these questions. Let me ask one. Okay, ask one. Go ahead. I will give you a chance to change your topic. Go ahead. Fantastic. Hmm. In the Bible, hmm. okay, fantastic. Hmm. Uh, in the Bible, yeah. um, um, do you need to call a friend? No, no. There's okay. in the Bible, I think there's a in Matthew and I think in Mark and Luke in the chapters there. Mm. I think you might understand the verse if I say it, where Jesus says to his mess to uh, his disciples to go get sandals and uh, and to bring sandals or and uh, like uh, don't tell me, uh, and, give me, give me the verse and give me the question. Okay. Hold on. Mm. Um. Give me, give me a question. You know, I mean, this one obviously you do not know what you are going to ask for. Give me another question. Okay, here. Um, uh, okay, I, it, it, it says in Matthew chapter ten, verse ten. Yeah, mm -hmm. it says Jesus says here. Um, peace be upon him. He says here, hmm. uh, you know, he's talking up to his disciples to take something for the journey. He says, no bag for the journey or extra shirt or sandals or a staff for hmm. the worker is worth his cap. His cap keep, yeah? Hmm. Okay, so here he says, bring no staff, hmm. no shirt or sandals, yeah? Hmm. And in another verse, he says that Take all those things, um, or uh, take uh, as or take uh, only um, take everything mm. except for. Or he says, sorry, um, take a stick and uh, leave everything else. But here it says, take a stick. Okay. Uh, take a stick also. You know that uh, contradiction. Okay. Right? I, I want to go with you. So now, if Jesus, he said in one place this, in other place, it's a contradiction, because yes, this yes. is he, here he said this, and there they said that. So do we agree? I want you to confirm. I want you to swear by Allah that if I show you something in the Quran is similar, you will agree this is a contradiction. Ah, yes. You want to switch now, see? No, I'm not switching. I'm going to answer you. In the same time, I'm going to hit you from your book, and if you agree this is a contradiction, I will show everybody if you are a truly a person who believes this is a contradiction or you are just a hypocrite playing games. Because if it's a contradiction here, it should be a contradiction there.
Do you agree? Yes. So do you swear by Allah that if I show you a Quran saying something in one place and the Quran saying the opposite in a different place, you will agree this is a contradiction? Okay. Okay? All right. Well, Jesus here. Hold on, let me read the verse for the audience, yeah? I read already Mark, uh, sorry, Matthew chapter 10, verse 10. Uh -huh. It says, take a staff, take sandals, take money and bag and stuff like that, yeah? Mm. Okay. Mm. Here, in Matt, here in Mark, mm. in chapter 6, verse 8 to 9, Jesus says he instructed them that they should take nothing for their journey except a mere staff, no bread, no bag, no money. So only a staff here in Mark and in the other chapter, he, he said, do not take a staff or anything uh, like that. Mm. So here he says, take his only staff. Mm. Another verse says, do not take a staff. So which one is true, Mark okay. or, Ma or, so, or Matthew? Uh, if we, if, if, uh, if uh, in the Bible says, take a, take a staff and the other one say, don't take staff, that is a big contradiction, correct? Hold on, yes. We will go there in a minute. I know you love. No, 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 no! Don't, 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 don't change, don't change topic, don't change topic. So, I'm trying to. Say okay, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, if this is a contradiction, it's about a staff. Look, look how guys, how big the corruption is. Here it says take a staff. Here it doesn't say take a staff. So how that is the coming from God? I will answer you. you hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, how you know that this is the same equation? Huh? How you know that this is the same speech? This is the same speech because this is Jesus talking. And I know. Them to I know this is journey. Jesus talking, but how you know that's the same trip, the same speech? It's the same speech. How you know? Because it's the same thing. How you know? Because I know I read it. How you know? You are a Muslim. You don't even know your book. Same time, let us say, even if for the sake of argument, in the other book, hold on, hold on, in the other in the other writing, he says he 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 put the word stick. I can be as an example when I was in the next to the cross, I heard one of the people saying something, and I heard other person saying different. But I'm witnessing the same event, the same speech, mm -hmm. every one of us he heard differently. Now I'm asking mm -hmm. you, how you know that this is the same speech in the same date in the same time? Because it's the same one. Same one He's what? Telling, he instructed the disciples to take it for the journey. We know he the whole Bible is about instructing the disciples. How you know that this is the same time? Jesus did not mention maybe twice mentioned that. Maybe he mentioned it in different occasion. Maybe what is mentioned there is different thing. And how that on, on listen, and how that can be a contradiction. Let us say if there is a stick or there's no stick, what that will do to the Bible. Because if this is Jesus speaking, and you claim that the whole Bible, uh, if Jesus is speaking in the whole Bible, how can you trust what he's saying in all the other Gospels? Okay. If two Gospels is what he said. Wonderful. I will go with you. In the Quran, it says that when Mary, she received inspiration from Allah, one angel See? came to her. Hold on. In other verses, it says the angels came to her. I'm going with you. So is it one angel or many angels? Remember, if one is stick, if one is a stick, a stick, not angels, a stick made a big issue for you. If the Quran says in one verse, Allah, he sent angels to Mary, angels appear in front of Mary. And the other verse says, one angel appeared to Mary. Which one of them is the true story? Which, which verse, my friend? My God. No, are you saying to me, you never heard that Mary, she received, she received a message from Allah by angels? By, by Gabriel, yeah. He appeared as a man, yeah. Okay, so only by Gabriel or by angels? By Gabriel. Did angels came to Mary or only Gabriel? I have to read the verse, but I know what... No, 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 you see, I, I'm asking you, my friend. You are the Muslim, you are the expert, and you are the one who's, who's, who's going after the stick. Ah, so, yeah. I'm asking you, because this is did, what Jesus Allah, did Allah... Did Allah... Did Allah, we do not know what he did said Allah send angels? So, okay, you, okay, I, I will go with you. You confirm. Listen, 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 listen. 
I will go with you. Everybody heard you. Everybody heard you. That the one who came to Mary is one angel. Uh-huh. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So yes. if we have other verse, do you swear by Allah? That will make you leave Islam and this is a clear contradiction. My friend, can you show me? No, no. Uh, before I show you, because after I show you, you will say I did not promise you. Okay, if one verse says that an angel appeared to Mary, peace be, may Allah have mercy on her, and another verse says uh, angels appeared before Mary, if this is the same context, before that angel what appears do you mean? As a what man, do you mean? What do you mean same context? If it's the same context, uh, uh, whatever, okay, then uh, yeah, it'll be a contradiction. Okay, go ahead. All right. Let us see. Do you see my screen? I'm trying to now. All right. I want you to open with me what you will see in the screen. You can open it from your side. Chapter 3, verse number 42. Chapter 3, verse number 45. How many angels they spoke to Mary? One or many telling her about you will have a son. I can't even see the screen. You can open it from your side, no problem, in your phone. Chapter 3, verse number 42. Chapter 3, verse number 45. Uh -huh. hmm. And remember, everybody heard you. If this is really what it says, this is a clear contradiction. Okay, let me go and read it. Let me hmm. pull it up myself. Hmm. Chapter four, 3, verse 42. Okay. Yeah. In chapter 42, chapter 3, chapter 3, verse number 42, chapter 3, verse number 45, which means thir chapter 3, both of them, they are chapter 3, one verse is 42, the other verse is 45, it's the same chapter. No problem, princess. Mm. And as the angel said... Uh, you're calling me princess, you're insult. Now, try, are you trying to make me hang up on you so you can avoid the embarrassment? Princess is going to make you hang up on me, are you that emotional? Oh, so if I call your prophet the princess, you will not be emotional? There's a difference between in insulting somebody's fate than uh -huh. calling somebody princess like you. Okay, Muhammad is a princess. He put eyeliner and he wear women diaper. Go ahead. So now answer. You said, okay. if this is really what it says, everybody heard you. It's recorded. This is a clear contradiction. It's not even eyeliner. It's it is eyeliner. I can't. Don't change the topic. And when the, the angel angels say it to Maryam, the angels, it's not an angel, it's an angels. Yeah, okay, as, as the angel said, oh Maryam. Is it angel or one angel? You told me only angel. I ask you, if it is, if I show you, it's not one angel in other verse. Many angels, they spoke to Mary. You said this is a clear contradiction. The verses is continuing. Why you don't finish the verse? I don't care how many angels they spoke. Continue, go ahead. <laughs> Uh -huh. Continue. Who is stopping you? Uh, Did I? Uh, angels, when the angels, it's the same thing. You agreed. I said to you, it's recorded. If I show you in the Quran that it's not one angel in other verse. You Five, mentioned to me one verse, it says, an angel, his name is Jabril, came to Mary. You said that. Everybody heard you. I said, if I show you, other verse says, angels, not one. Do you agree this is a clear contradiction? You said yes. Both of them say angels, both of them. No. Yes. No, I've shown you two verses. You are an idiot. I'm showing you two verses. Listen, Abdul. I'm showing you two verses saying angels, but you are the one who said to me, Allah, he sent one angel. So are you saying to me, you do not know which verse is that? What are you talking about? He sent to Aren't me, you the one who said to me that Allah he sent Jibreel, one angel? Yeah, in this I said also in the, in if the same scenario. No, uh, no, no, hold on. Listen, Abdul, I ask you if I show you other verses saying it is not one angel. Do you agree this will be a clear contradiction? You said yes. 
Yes. And you said to me even the word Jibreel. Yes, it was the Jibreel. Okay, so it is one angel or many angels who spoke to Mary. You said to me it's one. And I ask you if this is not the scenario in other verse. It is many angels came to Mary. Is that a clear contradiction? You said yes. Well, if it says here when the angels, yeah, okay. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, okay, they're informing her about the about Jesus, yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. And but I don't see where here it's uh he became a man or something. I don't care. This is the other verse. The one you chose for me, that is the one says that Jibreel came to her as a, and became a man. So only Jibreel came in the other verse. The Spirit, yeah, ascended to her. Exactly. Yeah. So now, do you agree that Islam is false? But the Spirit is not angels. Hold on. Is The Spirit is not... So why you said to me it's Jibreel? No, it's Jibreel, but it's, I mean, I'm just trying to say angels. So, yeah, but, what, you, listen, hold on, hold on. You just said the Spirit is not an angel. Did you say that? The spirit is not angels. Okay. Who is the one, according to you, when you start talking to me five minutes ago, you said to me, Jibreel came to Mary as yeah, a spirit. Jibreel, Jibreel is an angel, not angels. Listen, he's an angel, yeah. But now you are saying that Jibreel is not the spirit who came to Mary. Okay, so you're trying to say... I'm not trying to say, it's you who said that. You say that Jibreel came to her. Did you say that or me? I'm trying to summarize, yeah? No, no, you don't summarize. Tell me, did you say that Jibreel came to her? In chapter 3, you're trying to Did say you say, did you say that Jibreel came to her? That the spirit is angels. So did you say angel. that Jibreel came to her? I said that one angel, which was the spirit who transformed into a man as Jibreel, yeah. Okay, so Jibreel, her, yeah. so what you are saying to me, Jibreel is not spirit. You convert yourself a second ago. So now... So is it one angel or many angels? And you are the one who agreed. If it says many angels, that's a contradiction. You said that already. Mm. Hmm. So you are worried about the stick, but you are not worried about how many angels. Not what you will say. You will say to me, well, here it mentioned, well, there's many angels came there. It's what a big deal. Hey, it I can help you. Stick, it's... Huh? It's not about the stick. It's about which one Jesus said. Okay, but remember, the Bible is written by the disciple of Jesus telling the story of Jesus. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So if, if, let us, hold on, listen, listen, listen. Here the Quran is Allah is talking word by word. Did Allah, by mistake as a human, if we, if we say human make mistakes, maybe Allah, he is not really sure what her percent how many angels they went to Mary? Maybe he is like the disciple of Jesus. He's a human like them. But the angels, but the angels could have went down with the spirit. Why not? Here it doesn't say that. It says the one who spoke to Mary is the angels, all of them, not one. Huh? Huh? Who is the one who spoke to Mary? Is it one angel or many angels? And there's also a verse in the Quran where it says that the angels and the spirit will. Um, uh, this is a different like story. We are talking about how many came to Mary. That verse have nothing to do with Mary. So how many came to? You know, already you agreed. What's wrong with you? Are you going to no, bite no, your no, tongue? No, are you going no. to bite your tongue now? No. Okay. Now I understand. I'm going to give you a break. I'm going to give you a break. I'm going to give you a break. How many days Allah created the earth and the heaven? I will give you options. Is it six? Is it seven? It is eight. Hello? I don't hear you. Six days. Six days. Okay, guys, six days. Do your prophet in you how many days there are, or he's an idiot? Yeah, I think he said five or something. Oh, he said five or five something? Or so are you In saying to me, so now you are upset from a disciple of Jesus. According to you, he had the word stick. But you are not upset from your prophet taking off days and adding days? Can you show me the hadith actually? I will show you a hadith. I will show you Quran, not only hadith. Here we go. 
You said to me it is six days, correct? About the six, because if we do not know what Jesus said, then that's a problem. No, we know what Jesus said, and if the stick there or not, who cares? Oh, uh, Hold on, you are just being silly, and there is, and, and there, and this is not a contradiction. I'm not contradiction, Abdul. Contradiction is 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 when God he say and he oppose himself, oppose, oh, oppose. God. Listen, now this is your prophet. This is your prophet. He's saying the following, that when Allah he created the earth and the heaven. Mm -hmm. And we will count the days with you. This is a Sahih Hadith. It says, Muhammad said, Allah the exalted, the glorious, created the clay on Saturday, created the mountains on Sunday, created the trees on Monday, created the, all things, tiling labor set up on, on Tuesday, created the light in Wednesday, created, caused the animal to spread in, in Thursday, created Adam on Friday afternoon. Well, how many days there are total now? Huh? Huh? How many days total? Can you show the hadith on the screen? I'm showing it in the screen. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So you have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, Friday. Okay. How many? Uh, and. Uh, and uh, between afternoon and night, okay, which is Maharib, and technically after Maharib, everybody agrees, uh, then it's the next day. Mm. So how many days total now? Yeah. So six. There are seven. Oh, <laughs> seven. Mm -hmm. You start in Monday, you finish in Friday. Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you, are, are you mad? Actually, actually. Don't tell me actually. What do you mean sex? Read it. Monday. Where is Monday? It's in the front of you. Are you blind? Created clay on Saturday. Okay, do you see? Okay, I'm going. Saturday, sorry. Saturday. He start on Saturday. He finish in Friday. How that is six days? Okay, that is six days. How that is six days? Oh my God. Saturday is Okay. Hold, hold on. Listen, listen. You just said to me a second ago that Allah, what? if we say afternoon, Asr, that is a second day. Did you hear? Did you say that too? You're confusing me. Did, did you just say, did you say, if we say Friday afternoon, Asr, that is another day? Did you say that? It's recorded. I didn't say Asr. You I said that. Not. It's recorded. I didn't say Asr. You said I Asr. Say, I said Maghrib, bro. It's different. Oh, Maghrib. Oh, okay, okay. It says the last hour of a Friday. <laughs> the last creation of the last hour of a Friday. The last hour of a Friday. Uh -huh. Okay, so Friday is over. So now let's count the days. Saturday is one day. Do you have your fingers? I think so, yeah. Okay, ahead. count with me. Saturday is one day. Sunday is Seven two. Days. Monday is a three. Mm -hmm. Tuesday is four. Wednesday is five. Thursday is six. Mm -hmm. Friday is seven. Mm -hmm. You said to me it's six, and you laugh at me. Yeah, I didn't see the Saturday because it's a lot. I ah, have to you did not see. So now, Mister Stick, mm -hmm. how Muhammad do not know how many days they are? Why he's adding words? He's not adding a stick. Bible. He's adding one day of a creation. Bible with the stick. Is your Jesus? Listen, here? listen. So, so is was this is a stick of Muhammad, or this is was a horrible mistake? Muhammad, he did not know what he's talking about. He's the prophet himself. This is not a disciple of the disciple. This is not somebody writing what Muhammad said. This is Muhammad himself. Ah, so your God can't even protect the book. Uh, can your God protect the book? Not the one you have because it's corrupt. Okay, hold on. But the one I have is your book. Do you see how stupid you are? Isn't it Allah, he said, he is the one who sent down the Injil? So now you are saying to me, your is God, he oh, shut up, everybody is laughing. Isn't it the Quran says that Allah is the one who sent down the Injil? That's mean, this is his book. So you said to me, everybody heard you, ah, your God cannot protect his book, but you forgot that according to you, this is your book. 
Who said, how are you okay? Are you okay? Like, is it in the Quran says that Allah He sent down the Injil and the Torah? Chapter 3, verse number 3. What, what does Injil mean? The book. The name of the Injil. book. Injil means the book? Yeah, and this is the word we use as a Christians in Arabic, even in a Greek, Injil. Fantastic. Does Injil mean gospel? Yes. The good okay. news. Yes. So Allah, He is the one so who sent down the Injil and the Torah. Is the Torah, is the, are you familiar with the Torah too or not? We do not. God, Injil is not the Gospels. Is God listen, God. Abdul, don't fool yourself. Okay, listen. Injil and Torah. I will go with you. I will go with you. Just to see how you can play. Allah said He sent down the Injil and the Torah. You want to play with the word Injil? No problem. Can you play with the word Torah? Torah is Torah. So now, did Allah protect the Torah or He did not protect the Torah? He didn't protect the Torah. Get lost. So why you are upset about protection? <laughs> okay, Sam, when I talk, I just call him. <laughs> Yes, Sam, how are you, my friend? How are you, brother? Are you calling me? I'm listening to you live. Huh? I'm listening to your... Are you live right now? I'm on your channel. Uh, yeah, I'm live. As people told me that you want to talk and I see your text. No, 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 brother. I wasn't. I said uh, if uh, to get CP, if uh, that Muslim wanted to come afterwards, after you're done with him. Oh, uh, okay, okay. I thought you want to say no, something. No, I didn't want to destroy you. No, I yeah, you know... To you schooling him. Uh, okay, yeah. But, yeah. But, yeah, this this guy he you know he said to me uh, uh, in the story about Jesus he said to them take take your stick and this is and this is the, the stick is making a problem for the Muslims. <laughs> That's right. I was listening right now when he counted first he said six days then seven days so I was laughing <laughs> so I didn't know you finished with him. All right, I, I just I because I lost my patience I can't take it no more. Yeah. Yeah, that's no. why if the Abdul wants to come because I'm gonna go alive after because I want to have fun with him too. Because I love right. when you barbecue him, then I put some uh, steak sauce on them. <laughs> All right, okay, and some yeah. sauce. All right, son. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Sorry, I was talking still. I thought you were done. Uh... <laughs> Ring me, ring me. So Allah did not protect the Torah. So why you are you saying to me, your God, are you saying your God did not protect the book? Did you say to me, your God did not protect the book? Are you saying that? Did you say that to me, Mr. Muslim? I'm not talking about the physical book. The, the physical. Oh, the physical. So you Muslims have no physical book. No, he entrusted them with the Jews, the Quran says. Hold on. Did you just say to me, Allah entrusted the Jews? He wanted to come up here and say that Islam. Listen, listen. No, no, don't go. I just, I, I just got you from your tail. You just gave me your tail. I like, I mean, I'm trying to give you a freedom to go. You come back to me. You insist. Okay. You just said Allah he trusted the Jews to protect the Torah. Did you say that? He trusted them. Yeah. Okay. Does that mean Allah do not know the future? No, it's not about him knowing or not. It's about the Jews knowing. What do you mean the Jewish no one knowing? The Jews, the Jews were given that book and okay. they knew that they had to protect that because it's the book from God, right? Moses no, no, no. You said he trusted them. He trusted them, meaning meaning like uh like uh how do I say? Like they had the, they had the responsibility to do it. Uh, the word trust mean I trust you. Yeah, but obviously he knew that they would have so well, are you saying to me, point. Allah in purpose, he trusted the Jews so they can corrupt his book? Yes. Yes? Yes, as a test. Yes, as a test? As, as, a a test. test? as a test. For them, yeah. But a second ago, you said to me before I hang up on you, are you saying to me that your God book is corrupted? The Not the one that's with Allah, but yeah, the one that's down here is corrupt. Yeah, obviously. Like another one with Allah. <laughs> so now you are saying to me that Allah wanted the Torah to be corrupted. You just said that. No, he didn't want to. to he didn't want it to be corrupted. No, he, he no, no, he wanted because according to you, he trusted the Jews, but he knew the Jews will do corruption. 
Yeah, but it was for their own test to see what okay, they Okay, what test? It. He misled all the Jews. What test? Why Allah wanted the Jew to destroy he his book? Because he sent Islam, huh? which is winning and will dominate the world. And Christianity is dead. It's finished. My the friend, okay, I, I, I will go with you. Are you saying to me your prophet is lying? He's dead and I'm a revert from Europe. Listen, listen, you are a pervert from the Middle East. Now listen carefully. Listen. Are you saying to me your prophet is a liar? Because you're pro you're trying to change topic. I will go with you. Isn't it your prophet? He says Islam will go small, like a serpent going inside its hole. Is that true? At the end of times, when everybody is that true? Uh, is like, that true? Uh, is that true? Your prophet? Yes. In the end of the time. So you are saying to me, at the end of the time, the one who will dominate is not Islam. No, but nothing will dominate. You just said to me Islam will, will dominate a second ago. Dominate now, it's in 50 years, it will be the biggest. I mean, it's what in 50 time years time already? Do. Okay, I want to play for you a video. Watch it in 50 years. Will dominate. There's no Muslim in Muslim countries. The one you count them Muslim, you potato, they are not even Muslims. Not even one of you. Hi. Oh, I just click at a by mistake at a at, at somebody is an ex Muslim. You see, Islam will dominate. Muslims in Europe, they are leaving Islam left and right. I want another one. Hold on. Which one? This one? No, not this one. Which one? This one? Is it a thin? Not this one. Man? Not this one. Shut, shut up. Assalamu alaikum. My heart is breaking. Oh, brothers and sisters, my soul is aching. Brothers and sisters, did you know that so many people are leaving Islam every day? Why would anybody leave such a beautiful religion? Why would they choose to become a sick disbeliever instead? Why? Brothers and sisters, 100,000 Muslims are leaving Islam every single year. Over 100,000 Muslims leave Islam every single year. I'm telling you, this is serious. By the way, this is only in USA. And in USA, we have, I don't know, a million to a million. Most of them, they are the nation of Islam. Most of them, they are not even Muslims. So the Muslims in the Ali Dawa were talking about the real Muslims. A hundred thousand Muslims from the small tiny number of Muslims in USA live in Islam a year only in USA. And Islam dominating the world. Serious stuff. This is not a joke. This is not a joke, brothers and sisters. Yes, we say that there are 1.6 billion Muslims in the world and Islam is growing day by day. But the standard narrative has holes. In and we are not proud of that. And we're not proud of that. Apostates are everywhere. They are among us. They are even people who memorize the Quran. They are copies of the Quran. The youth are full of doubts. Our youth are full of doubts. And we tell them, doubts? What doubts, man? Doubts? What doubts, man? Have some guts, be a man. Have some guts, be a man. But nobody is answering their questions. And nobody's answering their questions. We tell them to stop questioning and to stop being emotional. And we tell them to be a Chad. Be a Chad. You can do it. I believe in you. But instead, they choose to be bad. We've seen this happen, unfortunately. We've seen this happen to a lot of people. If it continues like this, your child is going to become an apostate. Your, your child is going to become an apostate. Imagine your child, your child, the child that you are raising could end up with the disbelievers, with the kuffar and go to hellfire hellfire will want to swallow them hellfire will roast them roast them toast them toast them break them break them shake them shake them hellfire hellfire will annihilate them will annihilate them and the rest of us will be watching will be watching brother not only that in pakistan the muslims are writing the name of a prophet muhammad on their penises did you see the video made by adam seeker The sheikhs in Pakistan, Pakistan, they are saying there's more than 400,000 ex-Muslims. And many of the Muslim young people are writing the name of Muhammad over their penis. I don't know why in the world anyone want to put the name of Muhammad over his penis. Aren't you afraid to have a defect penis? Because Muhammad himself have a defect penis. Shall I play the video for you? Let me search for it. You brought that to yourself, not me. You asked for it. Why you do that? Why? Why? Why, brother? Why? Why you do that? 
guys, what the name of the uh, what the name of the video? Let us see, Adam Seeker, Pakistani Imam crying, something like that. Increase apostate of uh, okay, here we go. Don't don't call me. Watch the video first. I want you to see. Listen, don't call me right. I want you to see how Muslims in Pakistan they are writing the name of Muhammad on their penises. I am so proud of Muslims in Pakistan. I want you to watch carefully, Abdul. This is a very Islamic country and the punishment for insulting Muhammad is death. Literally. What the Muslims are doing in Pakistan, they are having fun with the name of Muhammad. Muslim women, they are writing the name of Muhammad over their boobs to make fun of him. And they post pictures in the internet. Muslim men, they are writing the name of Muhammad over their penises. And they are posting pictures in the internet. And the first question come to my mind, how sheikhs, where are the sheikhs they found those pictures? Unless you search for penises pictures. Me, myself, I will never see them. Unless you search for them, you will not see them. Correct, guys? I mean, how you will find a picture of a penis unless you are searching for a picture of a penis? People will be burning this country down. We will burn this. They are going. They are destroying Pakistan. He wants the cyber crime, the intelligence, the police, the secret police to crack down those people who they are writing their penises in the name of Muhammad, the Prophet Muhammad. A scholar of Islam, they cut doing plus me. Scholars of Islam, even the scars of Islam, they are screwing Muhammad. Read it, it's in front of you. Who's left? A big shake, their biggest shake. This is will destroy our country. Pakistan is gone. Everybody is leaving Islam. And what make it even nicer when the ice cream starts running from their eyes and they cry like babies. <laughs> and, and they keep making complaint to YouTube about my channel from Pakistan. I mean, this country is one of the biggest in the world for drug dealers, weapon dealers, kidnapping, smuggling, all kind of illegal things. The government even cannot control the country. There's a huge part of the country is out of their control. And what the intelligence department do in watching Christian Prince channel, and they make complaint to YouTube. And then YouTube, they says, this government entity decide to block your video in Pakistan. Sorry. If you have a question, send us your question. <laughs> What? What? Mr. Faisal Qureshi, they, were, they are writing, he is saying to Mr. Faisal, they are writing the name of the Muhammad in their private part. Let me, let me put it on the screen, hold on. I guess I need to take a screenshot for this one, because when I stop the, 
the video, the video have the line. Shut up, shut up, hold on. Are you sure? Muslims are writing the name of Prophet Muhammad in their great penises? I will vaguely tell you, Mr. Faisal Qureshi, they are writing Muhammad on their private parts. Why, Muslim, you do that? Why? Let me call this guy again. Maybe he can explain to me. Is that because Muhammad don't remember which one was six days, five days, ten days? <laughs> I'm calling him. He is not answering. Okay. Uh, I have the greatest the greatest answer you will hear there's a guy who have the greatest answer that's good let us call him uh, it says he is not available I always like people who have a greatest answer who can deny you you know mm. I am a Christian man who fell in love with Moroccan girl. Uh-huh. Okay. I see. My friend, stay away from hell. Otherwise, hell will take you down. A Christian person cannot marry non-Christian. Period. Light and darkness cannot live under one roof, the Bible says. Let us call this guy. He is so excited. Maybe he wrote the name of Muhammad there. <clears throat> Hello? Hello? I hear you, but your voice is very muffled. I cannot hear you really good. Hold, hold one sec. Let me turn the YouTube off. Let me turn the YouTube off. All right. Um, okay, how about now? Is this better? Uh, it's still the same, but go ahead. What do you want to say to us? Listen, what I want to say, I got the one thing and the one thing only that will disprove everything you are okay, saying. Okay, are you a Mus are you a Muslim? Are you a Muslim? Yes, I am. Yes, right. I am. Yes, okay, go ahead. Go I'm ahead. From the, and if you want to know, I'm from the Shia sector. All anyway, right. Anyway, okay. Let, let me tell you this: both Muslims and Christians in modern day don't follow the books. The mm. Christians don't follow the Bible, and the Muslims don't follow the, the Quran. Mm. I'll explain to you what I mean. Hmm. The modern-day Christian I at least see in Canada or in America, he doesn't do what the Bible tells him to do. He doesn't do good works. All, all they do is they, they claim to be Christian, majority of them. And what good work mean? Books. What good okay. work mean? Just, just, just hear me out. Hear me, hear me. No, no, I, I, I'm listening, my friend. We, you know, we're having a conversation. It's okay. You said you don't okay. do good work. What good work mean? Good, good works, good works to me is when you, uh, uh, what do you call it? When you do... Good things to the world. And when I when I say okay. the world, I mean according to studies, everybody... according to studies, number one people in the world who give donations is America. Okay, so so let me let, let me let me just tell you this. Let me no, no, you. just don't tell me. Is it true or not that number one people in the world who give donation to poor people around the world is the American? Yes or no? I I don't know. If so how come you are saying that, you, that they they are not doing good work, but and you live in Canada, but you do not know. Because this is what I'm trying to say, okay. you, right? Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Okay, what is me, me, what is good work according to you? According to you, you, what a good work? It, what is good work? It, don't run away from me. Don't run My away friend, from nobody me. is running away. We are having a conversation. I don't, I don't like people to throw a word at me and run away with it. You said good word, a good good work. I want to know what good work is, according to you as a Shia. What is good work? I I told you. I gave you the explanation. It's somebody. That does good good things to humanity, right? If you see a homeless what guy, is the good thing? Obama, what is the good thing Shia they do for humanity? 
Well, this is what we do, okay? This is this is what I'll explain to you. Right? What do you do? So, well, first of all, you just talked about charity. So charity is a big thing we do around here. Helping out people when they're in need. Do you give a charity to non-Muslims? Yes, yes. Okay. I worked at a homeless shelter. Do you have the, you said to me you follow the Quran, correct? Yes. All right. I want you to open the Quran with me, if you don't mind. Okay, well, CP, CP, you're derailing my point. No, no, but no. Before we continue, point. you see, I'm a person who is too much into details. You just lie to yourself. You claim that you are a person who followed the Shia sect mm -hmm. and you believe in the Quran and you follow the Quran. You know, you said the Christians. So I, can, I can answer anything you want, but let me just finish my point. No, no. See, One, you, we will continue. We have no, time. Why, we why have time. I have coffee. My friend, I have no, coffee in the front of I have coffee. You want to talk listen, to listen. You want to my talk friend, what is your name? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Uh, human. Your name is a human. Okay. I will go. I will take you accountable for that. Okay. Does it say in the Quran that you will not find one Muslim, not one believer, he would do good to non believers? Yes or no? In the Quran, yeah. Yeah, it says that. Mm. But you just said to me, you do charity to non Muslims. So you are not following because the Quran. This is, this is the point I'm trying to get to, but you're not going to let me finish. Just okay, go talk, ahead. Right? Okay. I'm trying to tell you. You, 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 you yourself, you and and, uh, and and the other guys on here, the other experts, you guys are what I consider scholars, theologists, this and that. That means nothing to me, man, because all this tells me is you've studied the books really good and you can digest it. I don't care what the books say, my friend. I don't care about the books at all. I care about following God, right, and doing good by others. That's what I, I'm in the field. You guys are on the books. I'm in the field. That's the difference between me and you. That's what I'm trying to protest. I'm trying to promote good works. Okay. I don't care what the are you protesting? Are you saying Listen, to me? I'm not gonna deny I'm not gonna, CP, a lot of the things you said about the Quran, I'm not going to deny it. It's there. Right? You've pointed out a lot of negative things, and I'm not going to deny it. The point is, the majority of Muslims I see, they do good by God. Right, at least here in Canada, they do good by God, mm. and the majority of the Christians here don't do good by God, mm. and that's what I'm that's what I'm saying. So, you could say this and that all you want, but I could I could tell you what I just told you that just because a, one book is better than the other book, yeah, maybe one book is better than the other book. Which one is better? You book, think which one is better? Well, I, I mean, listen, man, there's still a lot of contradictions in the Bible itself. Uh, 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 okay, but tell me, which one is book? You just say it. There's one is better. Which one is better? You already know, man. I don't have to tell you. No, you tell me. Well, I, I, I don't see how anybody can go wrong with the Bible. I'll just leave it at that. So you are saying the Bible is better than the Quran? But this is what I'm saying to you, CP. CP okay, but, you but you say to me, my friend, okay. you said to me that you follow Allah. Yes. Okay, how you follow Allah if you are just admitting that the Quran is not a good book? Okay, because this is this is what I'm trying to say to you, right? Okay, I tell take me. My, I, I, I'm being honest to you, right? If you're just willing to hear me out, listen, I, I don't argue with the truth. If there's bad things in the Quran, I can't defend it. There's, not, there's nothing I can do to defend it. This is what I'm saying. When I grew up, I'm 29 years old. When I grew up uh, since I was a baby, the only thing I saw my dad do was, was he, he would help people out, right? Now, mm. whether you dislike him or you like him because he follows the Quran, the only thing I saw him do was help people out. That's all I saw him do. I, I didn't see him do anything else. So my point is, I kind of learned from that. And then, and then I would go out and, and, and help people, regardless if people would step on my hands and step on my feet and kick me to the curb. I, I didn't really care. I felt... I felt that that's what I was meant to do in life. And that's why I, you know, I took on jobs like working with the homeless and stuff like that. But, but my thing is, what I'm telling you is, uh, I could really make the argument that that majority of Muslims here, they fear God, and majority of Christians here don't fear God. And, and I'm saying that... Uh, the, how, how, that how the Muslim, the they fear God? The how the matter. Muslim, they fear God? By, by doing the best, by not to commit sins, you know, like the, the, the sins okay. of the human. You don't commit shirk? 
but, you, but you are a Shia and Shia are Mushrikeen. Aren't you Shia believe that uh, Muhammad and Fatima and Hassan and Hussein and Ali, they wear lights in the forehead of Allah and they are not a human? I ask it again, CP. You said you are a Shia, correct? Yeah, yeah. Isn't it the Shia they believe that the family of Muhammad, they are not a human like us. They are they have a form of a human, but they are lights from the forehead of Allah. And the whole world they created for them. I don't but CP, what did I just finish telling you about the book? No, 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 no. hold on. First so first you admit, is. my friend, I give you time to talk. Let me get to we will talk. So first you claim that you say it, not me. You agree that the Bible is better than the Quran. Secondly, you said that the Christian they commit shirk. Why? Because when you, if you believe in Jesus, not a shirk. This is their God. Shirk is to believe in someone other than God. And for us, this is God. So you are making up stories. Number three, it is you, Shia, who worship Muhammad and Ali. Even you eat the dirt of the grave of Ali. Do you want me to play for you videos? Even you, Shia. I, I, I don't do that. I don't do that. You don't do what? Do, why you don't do that? Because you decide not to follow the book. CP, CP, CP. Let me explain something. Hold on. Right? You, but you, you said to me, this. you said to no, me. But CP, but you know this though. CP, believe me, you're not you're not talking to the Muslims that come on here and you destroy them, right? You're talking, you're talking to a, a different type of guy. What what you kind? What, what kind are you? What kind? Okay, CP, you listen, listen. You already know that a lot of people, when you're born into a religion, you can't just leave it, right? You understand it. Let's just let's just let's just have a real discussion. So the thing is, I'm saying I can't talk badly about about Christianity because I you I just actually, did you just did I like it. No, how did I talk? About, I said the people. Okay, no, but the, said, but, no, you no, said, no, but you no, said no, but you no, said no, 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 but you said but you said the Christians. The no, let's okay. We are having a conversation, my friend. It's a conversation. It's a conversation. Listen, you yeah. said the Christian don't fear God. A Christian, he don't fear God. He's no Christian. I said here in Canada. I, said I don't care Canada. where. No, no. But don't label them. Why you label them as a Christians? Jesus said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who does his will. So Christianity and Christian is the one who do the will of the father. So why you are labeling those people as a Christian when the fact they are not? No, Christians. CP, this is what I'm telling you. CP, this is what I'm telling you. Hmm. Right? Okay. Like take, take, take the Holy Lands, for example. Right? If you want to talk like Jerusalem or Mecca or whatever. I don't know what's going on there because I'm not there, right? I only know what's going on here in Ontario, Canada. That's all I can talk about. And I'm telling you, everybody, listen, listen. I've maybe talked to, in my, in my lifetime here, in the past, let's say, five, six years, hmm. only two people that tell me they really believe in God and fear Him. The majority of people go like this to me. This is the average one, two people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was born Christian, blah, blah, but I... Okay, they are not Christian. So, so what the problem right? exactly? What the problem? What does this no, have no, to do? No, no, what this no, have... My, my friend, my friend. You said I was born Christian, my but friend. I don't believe. There's That's nothing... There's, first of all, you are just being... I'm not insulting you, but you are being ignorant because in Christianity, you can't be Christian because you are born Christian. You have to be born again, reborn again. Reborn again is you accepting Jesus as God when you are in the age of maturity, you know you know what Jesus is about. And then you accept him, and then you get baptism, and then you receive the Holy Spirit. That is a Christian. Not somebody is born from a mother, her name is Janet, and the father, his name is George. So you got it wrong. <laughs> secondly, secondly, in every two seconds you wash your hands from Islam. I ask you, don't the Shia do, do this? You said, I don't care, but, but, you, but you label yourself a Shia. I, uh, you said to me, you are the one volunteerly said to me, by the way, I'm a Shia. So why you call yeah, yourself? I assumed, I assumed you were going to go ahead and ask me what sector I am. No, I did I not. Assumed. I did not ask you. I did not ask you. No, I know. I said, I said, I assumed you were. No gonna, problem. But did you label yourself volunteerly that you are a Shia? Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I was. Born okay. But Shia, I they commit shirk. Shia is Mushrikeen. They worship Ali, Fatima, Hassan, Hussein, and Muhammad, and they claim they are not even a human, and they claim they are exist before all mankind, and they they are light. They are not human. They are made of light, and their light is the light of Allah. So, mm -hmm. if we go to the Quran right now, we, the, the verse in the Quran says, "Siraj and Mudiyan." Every single Shia scholar says, "Muhammad is light, Ali is light, Fatima is light," and what is the proof? 
we go to Siraj and Muniran. So suddenly the Quran become about Muhammad being is light, is not a human. And then and then you say to me that uh, you know we we worship only Allah, we don't commit shirk. But in fact, every single Shia is a mushrik. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say nothing. You did. I haven't disagreed with you one time, Shifi. I haven't disagreed with you. Okay. I want to ask you, you said to me that uh, uh, people don't do good work, correct? I said here in Ontario. That's okay. all I can talk about. Bill Gates is an atheist. Uh -huh. He make a lot of donation, more than all of us together. Yeah, so does Saddam Hussein, yeah? Okay. okay. Thank you very much. So you, are, you just refuted yourself. No, I'm so saying the good me, work, the good work is not a good work. Know. So you, you see, if you do a good work, a good person who do good work, he will not go brag about it. Do we agree? In, in, in general, yeah, you're supposed to just do good work and not. not so why you are correct. telling me you do good work? Because I'm trying to tell you that I don't. I really don't think that. No, that you are trying to tell me both that both. you are a good person and we are bad people. So you are trying to brag about oh, no, good no, no, work. No, we do not no, know if it's true or not. No, that's not that's not what I said. I did, first of all, I didn't just mention good works. I said who's closer to God. You said to I me said, that your dad he could do good work. Yes, I said I followed. I never work. mentioned about my dad doing any good work. Does that mean he never did anything good? I don't know if he did or not. That's my thing. I but don't why know. I want to mention it? Why I want to mention it is why? What is your business to know about what my dad he did if he did good work or not? Is it this is between God and you? No, no, that's not my business. That's up to you to share. But you are, but, but why you are is, telling me about your good work if you are not trying to brag about it to be hypocrite? No, the thing is, this is what I came to tell you. I came on here to say that from what I see here, the majority of Muslims fear God. How do they fear God? How do you fear God? Do the Shia. You, do the Shia. You, I, do the Shia. I, I, listen, do the Shia and you are a Shia. Do they practice muta? No, no, I don't practice. We are a Shia. I, I, already, I already went over this with you about the bulk, my friend. Listen, listen. You know okay, mean? so you are saying to me that you fear God, but you don't fear disobeying God by not practicing what Allah ordered you. Allah, he ordered you to do muta. You don't fear God. Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll, t I'll tell you this, right? Uh -huh. do you, can, I, can I ask you this? You think, do, you have a, do, you, do you have what you consider a spiritual relationship with God? Well, I do that now, right now. I'm speaking to you. Okay, okay, correct, great. Uh -huh. So this is what I'm telling you, yeah. right? I know that in my lifetime, the pain and all that, the, all that thing that I've endured, I know what it's meant for, right? And my thing is, when people come in the form of the devil to do stuff, I've actually been given the intelligence to figure it out right away. And I could tell right away this is an evil person. You see my point? So here's the thing, I might not be following the book, but I'm saying I know where my heart stands. You see my point? So you are refusing... Thing is, no, so... no, no, but here's the thing, I'm not, listen, listen, I'm not saying that when I sin, it, it's not a good, I, I'm saying I'm just as bad as everybody on the planet, right? That's what I'm saying. I'm just like everybody else, right? But I'm saying I know where my heart stands, and I know who I fear, and that's, that, that, that's just who you I You fear who? Is. The God of the world. Who is the God of the world? Uh, what do you call it? The uh, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Who is the God of Abraham? Well, he's he's who's told to us, uh, you know, in the Quran. If you, uh, for more reference, refer to the Injil, right? To the okay. gospel. Okay. You see, uh, my friend, I want you to listen to me now. I did not disturb you when you're talking. So you are the guy who don't want to listen to the Quran because the Quran have a lot of problems. In the same time, you are following the God of the Quran who taught you a lot of problems and bad things. But you are obedient to Allah by not obeying Allah in the Quran. And that makes you a good person who follow Allah by not obeying Allah because Allah's words is full of garbage. You are an amazing person and I find what you say to me is astonishing because this is the only way you can be a good person according to you by disobeying Allah book for Allah book have other problem but Allah is God who you obey by not obeying his command in the Quran. Let me ask you, do you have a friends who they are Christians or not Muslims?
Oh yeah, yeah. I got, I got a lot. Man. Okay. Canada, the Quran says. It's Canada, the Quran can't. says. You're not gonna not have any. My friend, the Quran says, chapter five, verse number fifty-one. Take not Christians and Jews as a friends. So you are saying to me that you obey Allah by disobeying Allah. Mm -hmm. How you do that? Well, I'll tell you what, man. If I if I gotta go to hell for that, then I'll go to hell. I'll put it to That's that. mean you don't fear Allah. So now we go back to zero. You said in the beginning that we Muslims, we are the only one who fear Allah. Suddenly you are brave and you don't care if you here, go to hell. Here, I said here, here, here in Canada. Doesn't yeah, matter. It's, does it, my friend, is hell have to do with the location? Like if you change your location, I, I you will go I to heaven? I can't talk about it. CP, I can't talk about what's going on in Nigeria because I'm not in Nigeria. I don't that's care about that, my, my friend. We're not talking about location. That's my point. We I are not talk talking about, about a location. You just said you don't care if you want to go to hell for that reason. A second ago, you told me, when you called me in the beginning, and not only that, you said to me, I will answer you, I'll give you an answer, I will destroy you. Did you say that to me in text or not? And that's what it was. I told you. Okay. That so now look what happened. You destroy yourself. You just you said to me in the beginning, we are the only ones who fear Allah. And then when I quote for you verses from the Quran, you said to me, Yeah, I have friends. I'm not going to follow this, and I don't care if I go to hell. So you don't fear Allah. Well, look, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here's the thing. You're asking that I, that I just said we're the only ones that follow. I told you when I ask people what do they believe, they always say like this. Yeah, yeah, I was born Christian, but I don't really believe. So what am I supposed to say to you, CP? If I ask 50 people down here where I live, and they all give me the same answer, I didn't assume they don't believe in God. They told me they don't believe. That's my point to you, man. They are more honest than you. So what, do you what is it that you want me to say? Let, to let, me, tell you, let me tell you what happened. I'm just Those who say, okay, saying. let me give you an answer. Those who say to you, we don't believe in God, the 50 people you are speaking of, they are more mm -hmm. honest than you, because already you just said you don't believe in God, because you claim that you believe in the God of Abraham, and the Quran is your book, and then you don't want to follow the Quran. So how you believe in God, you don't want to follow his words and his command. So you don't believe in Allah, because if you believe in Allah, you follow his command. I said to you that Jesus said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who does his will. So it's not saying I am a Christian, is being a Christian what make you Christian. And the same for you, not saying you are a Muslim, but being a Muslim will make you a Muslim. And you are the one who gave me a great presentation about we Muslim, we do good work. And now you decide that it turned to be that the good work is to obey in the Quran. Because in order to do no, good work, hold on, in order to do good work to the Christians and the Jews and the Hindus and the atheists, you have to be friend with them. And this is against the Quran. It turned to be that even your good work is against Allah teaching. Yeah. Well, see, CP, this is what I'm trying to tell you. You know how like, a couple minutes ago I asked you, you have a spiritual relationship with God, and you said you said you wouldn't you wouldn't have if you weren't talking to me the way you're talking to me, right? Mm -hmm. So this is what I'm trying to tell you. I already know through through the faith I have that the only thing I need to do, right? This is why I'm having. This is why I came to talk to you and say I have something that's going to destroy you. It's because you know how you talk about the books and they talk about these books and blah blah. I know the only thing I need to do. Is better myself by trying to eliminate the sins I'm doing. Because I told you, I'm like everybody else. I, I, I'm not going to get into my bodily sins that I commit. But once I get rid of those, and, and I and I continue to do my best to be a good human, that, that's all that matters, man. That's it. That's it. That's all that matters. Okay, but you just that's now... That's why I'm coming on here to promote that. All right, but now you just turn into a hippie who don't believe in any God. Yeah, just being a, a human. What? I turned into a what? Hippie. <laughs> no. Yeah, you just be a human. This is what you said to me. So all this lecturer from you, you are I funny, by the way. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Why, let me ask you this, CP. Why would I sit here and say I, I want to do my best not to commit any sins? A MP doesn't say that. He doesn't have any spirit, supernatural guidance that says don't. Who who don't sins. have that? Who? A hippie. You just said a hippie. No, he do. He think he's a human. He want to live as he wish. Listen, I'm going off. Hippies, hippies don't go, listen, hippies don't go, don't do violent. They don't do violent. CP, this is, CP, this is what I do, right? I think, I think you know what I'm saying, and I think you know that I'm not lying to you. And I'm being honest. When I say, when I read both books, I only take the good out of them, and I just try and apply the good. Right, that, 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 that's all there is to it. If there is any good in the, there is any good in the Quran. But here's the thing. But here's the thing. There's a lot of good things in the in the Bible, right? And and like I said, I was I was never born a Christian. 
uh, because of the household I was born into. And uh, there's a lot of good things in the Bible. And I know, you know what I mean? I know if I do the best I can from the good things in both books, that I should be good, man. I don't, I don't need, listen, you pointed out a lot of barbaric things in the Quran and, and listen, if it's there, I can't defend it, man. There's nothing I can do about it. But I know I don't have to do that. Stuff. I don't have to really accept it, right? Um, and I know, I know it doesn't really make any sense, man, but you're, you're smart enough to understand, you know, like when you're born into a religion, you can't just really leave them like that. It doesn't, you know what I mean? It's, it's kind of, it's kind of hard to do man. but I'll tell you what, man, if I ever get a clear answer one day to, to take on a different religion, I, I, I would do it, but I, I don't, I don't have that. Right? I don't have. That. There's one question I want to ask you. If there's any good yeah. in the Quran. Yeah, of course, man. There's a lot. Of Give me an example. Well, when it tells you, uh, like for example, uh, like Ramadan, which just ended today. Ramadan you know, is good. Uh, it's got a lot of good benefits to it, man. It's what is the good of benefit? Of Poor people they well, cannot well, afford to eat. Okay, well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you this right now. So it teaches <laughs> you, like, like ever since I was a kid, we were always taught, you know, if you swore, for example, you break your fast. If you uh, caused harm to anybody. You broke your fast. And uh -huh. I think you raised right way from your religion, you could already agree with me that what it's those two things alone is actually. Uh, okay, good. hold on. You said break fast, but do, do, do Muslims in Ramadan do they fast or they eat more? No, no, you fast. You fast. No, you Ramadan. don't. You just switch day and night and you eat more at night. Yeah, but I'm saying, but the thing is, but okay. So like, what is the know, fasting? Like, what is the fasting? No, but, no, but I'm trying to answer you. Listen, answer if today, I change my breakfast from the breakfast time and make it 4 p.m. And then the lunch, I make it at 9 p.m. 9 p.m. And then the the the, uh, the dinner, I make it 4 a.m. I did not do fast. I just changed the schedule of the day. No, but you just said it. You just said the best word. Break fast. Breakfast. Right, that's what breakfast is. It's breakfast. But you are eating all day, and not only that, Muslims in Ramadan they gain weight. And food well, prices, food prices go good. crazy because Muslims eat more, not because they eat less. If nobody okay, buying food as before, those guys are not doing it properly. CP, well, you're, you're ah, just, you're okay, okay. Uh, listen, listen. So I want to ask you, the the month of Ramadan, is it mentioned in the Quran? No, no, it's not mentioned. There. No, it's mentioned. What are you talking about? You say it in the Quran? Yeah. Like like the whole the whole the whole layout you're asking. But there's no but there's no month. There's a moon of Ramadan. But that's what I'm saying to you. Like the whole layout. No, no. It's not in there. Okay, hold on. So how the moon of Ramadan become part of your religion? That's a good question, man. Mm -hmm. Because you, because Islam is a paganism, the Muslim falsely translate the word shahar as month. Okay, so let me let me ask you this. Let me ask you mm -hmm. because you're saying it's a paganism. What do, what are the negativities that you see? In it? Well, Islam is evil. All of it, like muta is evil to rent your daughter, you know, for the sake of money and to have sex, not to do service, like you know, to do a maid maybe to wash dishes. That is evil. Well, I said, marrying well, I said, marrying well, children, I marrying children is evil. Abusing children is evil. Beating your wife, let, let me count for you. Beating your wife is evil. Spreading hate is evil. Uh, 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 you know, attacking people never did anything to you is evil. And Islam stands for all those things. Mm -hmm. But I, I didn't ask you all of that, CP. I just said, you're talking about Ramadan, and I said, name me a negativity. It, it's, it, it is nothing good about it, except what you claim that should be good. You claim that, but for me, what I see, that in the month of Ramadan, they start playing uh, 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 movies about fighting the Christians, killing the Jews. The Christians are a bunch of a drunk people. And this all the program on Ramadan TV, teaching kids how to hate the Christians, teaching kids how to hate Jews. Go watch any Islamic program. Khaled ibn Walid attacking, at killing, Omar al-Khattab attacking Jerusalem, the Kuffar, the Roman, all the programs is about killing and hate. This is the month of Ramadan. It is a month where you ignite hatred between the Muslims against non-Muslims. That's what you do all the month of Ramadan. 30 days of hate. I don't know. I've, I've never gotten that. I've never gotten that. Man. Uh, okay, uh, because you, you never lived in the Middle East before? 
Say, say that again. You never lived in the Middle East before. Yeah, yeah. I was born. I was born there. I was born so how come you don't? Middle how you say to me? I never saw that. No, 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 no. I told you I live here. Right. Here's the thing. We left there when I was six years old. Okay. And then, and then we lived in Jordan. But I just gave you an example of what Ramadan does. Ramadan is the month of hatred, the month of killing. And not only that, if you go and do some study now, just do the study, official study by Muslims, about the violence in Ramadan increase, theft, rape, all kinds of crimes. And the excuse is, oh, I am fasting, so I get angry so fast. And now I slaughter the throat of my friend because he made me angry, or I kill my wife, or I am fasting, so I throw my kid from the window because he was a crying. A guy, he throw his infant baby from the seventh floor because he is a crying and the guy is fasting. He could not take it no more. He's fasting, man. So the month of Ramadan is a month of evil. No, but CP, you just gave me a, an example of some guy being a lunatic. No. Okay, <laughs> all of you Muslims together attack Israel in the month of Ramadan. All your wars is the wars of Ramadan. All your attack, all your violence is in the violence of Ramadan. Ramadan is the month of violence, the month of hatred, the month of killing. Let me ask you, do you want to kill the Jews? No, no. Why? I told you, I spread, I spread world love, not world peace. Okay, so now you are disobedient to Allah, and you said to me, you fear Allah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, t I'm telling you the truth, man. I'm just okay. telling you how I feel. I appreciate heart. that, but as you I see think. then, as you see, so you took from a whole religion of Islam, you throw everything in the garbage, only Ramadan you like? No, no, no. Well, the thing is, like, uh, what was <laughs> I going to say? I'm saying, I'm saying, uh, like I, I named you the good things of, of just of just Ramadan, right? But in general, like in general, if you see a lot of, um, I don't know if you watch professional sports at all, but you might see some athletes, right? Like like take Khabib for example, right? If you look at the way he moves, he he's just taking out the good things of the religion, man. You know what I mean? If because he, he's he's a he's a suit like he's a famous guy on TV, right? Who's that? Who's that? Saying, you're talking about? Who is taking good things? What is that? How, how, I'm, I don't saying the, the, I'm saying the UFC guy, that fighter. Who? Khabib. Khabib. Khabib is a good guy. I think so. Yeah, yeah. Khabib. Why he's a good guy? I'm saying, look at the way he behaves. Okay. Man. What 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 he, what he behave? What he do? He go and beat people. Well, that's in the ring. I know how you feel about uh. My friend, how, listen, how listen, listen. Combat. A person who made a profession is hurting people is not a good man doesn't matter if he is a christian a hindu a jew that is not a profession of any good man and those who watch such people they are mentally ill because how in the world <laughs> i i'm telling you you're going to be upset it's up to you how in the world i, I want to enjoy listen how in the world i want to enjoy watching somebody beating somebody and i know that all of this is nothing but a commercial for the worshippers of money so you are not watching sport mm -hmm. you are not learning something good you are supporting evil companies who they make money from people beating each other you are supporting the devil and yet you claim to be good i will never watch them I will never give them a second. If we want to learn how to fight, good, go learn. But you don't go and beat people that get paid for it. They are not fighting for good. They are fighting for fame, for money, for millions of dollars. And the foolish you, you worship them and you think they are good. Did this guy give all, oh, listen, did this guy anybody. Habib give all his money to the people, to the poor people of his country? No. How do, you, how do you know? How do you know? I heard he will show it. it. Okay, hold on. You said to me, you sh you saw what he do. What he do? Tell me. He uh, from from uh, like from from what I was hearing about him is he has donated money to the people in that part of Russia. There. He donated that, what? Uh, he donated money to the people in that area of Russia, the Dagestan area. Donated all his talking? money or some money? No, some money. You can't donate all your money. Why? Man. Why? How can you donate all your money? I mean, money you are making millions in one game. In one game, you will get back everything you lost. Give them all the money. Next week, you will make more. 
No, no, you just said all your money, all your money. Yes, you yes, all your money. How do you do if I am Bill Gates, if I am Bill Gates, I will give all my money because every month there's a new money coming to me. Well, the thing is, it's different. It's am I going to be hungry? Listen, those people, when they go and play a game, even the videotape, they have mm -hmm. money from it. They have royalty. Even the commercial, anything, even the company, they come and they ask them to wear a T-shirt or shoes. So they make a lot of money. So if you don't care for money, if he's a good person, he give. He don't give 10,000. They are making hundreds of millions. Mm -hmm. This guy, his name is Christo, Christo what's his name? In, in, uh, he play now in Saudi Arabia. The contract is $500 million. Is it a shame that to give a man he want to use his feet five hundred million dollars and you have hundreds of millions of Muslims in Africa are dying from hunger? Isn't no, it? I agree, I agree with you. I agree with you. Okay, so you. not only that, the Muslims are proud about those people, and you are an example. The same. There's no different. You are proud of this man when he did nothing good to Muslims, I, I nothing good. Him. He just, the Muslim, they use him just to <laughs> supposedly, oh, he's a Muslim here. You know, my friend, always those who win support the other Christians. So if you have once or two or three Muslims, why you make a victory? You're losing everything. You're losing war. You're losing technology. I, I, you're losing I, fight. I do. Listen, you're, listen, you're, you know, you're losing everything. And then you get Habib. Suddenly Habib no, is GP, the rescue. But CP, but CP, hear me out. But many... Manny Pacquiao is a Christian, and he also donated millions and millions, and I, I supported him too, man. My friend, all those you, are fake. You, all I, those people are fake people, because the second they say we did donate, they are fake. The well, second listen, you listen, say, here's, here's the thing. Here's no, no, whatever. not not here. The thing. The second yeah, you yeah. say I donated, even if it's a dollar, you are not a good person. This is what the Bible says, and this is why we follow the Bible because the purpose yeah, of. I've heard it. Don't brag about right. doing it. I've heard right. that. So times. if you do something with the right hand, don't even let your left hand know. So when a person he speak about the good things he done, that means he's a hypocrite. He received his glory already. People glorify him. Oh, Bill Gates, he donated a lot of money. Look how amazing he is. But yeah. they put him in TV. They they speak about how good he is. He got the glory. A good person. He will send money to a poor person. He will not even let him see him. He will not even talk to the person to avoid, to make the person feel like, you know, to, to say even thank you. You know, this is what a good person would do. You Muslims, you brag about things you do. For, yes. You, listen, listen, listen. I don't know what to call you, what your name you refuse to give me, but isn't it you who called me from the human. beginning? Human, human. I just like to go by human. By what? Human. Human. Are you sure like, it's a, okay, look, look, look. Are you sure watch, it's watch. a human or not? If you not, ask me, are you, you sure it's a human at Hamas? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if you ask me where I'm from, you know what I tell people? Yeah. Earth. I say Earth. <laughs> from the Earth. Ah, okay. Well, the Bible says from the Earth and to the Earth you go back. You are right. But my friend, listen exactly. carefully. When you called me, you were bragging about the good work you do. And now. You are saying you agree that we should not tell about the good work we do. Mm -hmm. So you yourself, you are living a lot of confusion. You think you are a good person, and then you deny you are good. You think I, I told you I'm like everybody, man. I'm, no, 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 I'm no. You are just my friend. You are no, no, my friend. I'm not trying to put you down. I'm just explaining to you what I understood about you from a short conversation we have. You totally contradict everything you say and you stand for. You said you fear God, that when I show you a verse in the Quran, you say, I don't care, I'm not going to follow it. That means you don't fear God, fear God, because if you fear God, your God, you fear disobeying Him. It turned to be, you don't care, you disobey Him, you don't like what He say, it is wrong. In one hand, He's wrong. In the other hand, you are right. In one hand, you are wrong. In the other hand, he's right. So you switch position. Two minutes, Allah is right. He brought Ramadan for you. Two minutes, Allah is wrong. He taught you to hate the Christians. Two minutes, Habib is good. Two minutes after, Habib is not good. Two minutes after, 
What is that? What did I say? <laughs> yeah, you said that I... because you said you agree that you should not tell what you do. <laughs> you agreed. So, my friend, <laughs> my friend, I, you know, I, I'm, I, I, I wanna. I mean, it was really nice talking to you. You're a nice person. You too, man. I, I like you, CP. Man. I hope, I hope Listen, I did CP, not. I hope CP, I did not offend you. you. Do, you do what you do to the world. You promote good stuff. And I also promote it. That's all I came on here to say, my friend. That's it, man. No, you can't I destroy me. You forgot what you said to me. <laughs> no, no, you're right. No, no, I'm saying like the argument. Like I'm saying I have the best argument. Yeah, but be honest. Did you destroy my argument or you destroyed yours? <laughs> no, I didn't destroy nothing. I guess I just came on here to say. No, like, you destroyed like, every argument you came with. You did. Nothing, brother. You did, my friend. You did. No, no, nothing, brother. Nothing, nothing, brother. Right. I just came on and I told you to promote good stuff, but I, but that's all I wanted. I wanted some time. I appreciate it, man. And then, uh, yeah, man, I'll go. I'll keep listening to the show, man. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much for calling. Take care. All right. Peace. peace. Well, <laughs> you know when I I saw like he went to destroy me, I said this man is really so good, man, so good. How amazing. And that made me actually interested to get destroyed. And actually, I don't want to share this with people. I buy glue all the time from Amazon. Because most of them, they break me pieces, put them together. How I can put myself together? Glue. Walmart is out of duct tape. What I can say? Most of them, they can refute me always. They debate themselves. <coughs> making videos about me, but they don't dare to call me. And the one they call me, they end with sorrow. Anyway, this gentleman is a nice person, but obviously he is confused. He do not know what is good, what is bad. He think, in one hand, he think the Quran is full of bad and the Bible is better. In the other hand, he think his religion is Islam. <laughs> But if you don't trust your book, how you can claim anything good about your God? This is your God words. Can God be wrong somewhere and right somewhere? <clears throat> anyway, uh, it was a it was a rich time with many Muslims calling today. Uh, and uh, we hope we to hear them again from time to time. But remember one thing. When you are looking for evidence, you don't look for evidence you wrote by your hand. Which mean, if you want to see really if you are good or not, it's people who say that about you. Not you say that about yourself. A man witnessing to himself is not a credit. People witnessing for you. The Lord, he says, from their fruits you shall know them. In the same time, the Lord, he order us not to brag about our fruits, not to show our fruit. But you know what? Even if you hide them from the people, the Lord, you cannot hide your fruit from Him. And that is what is important. You will be judged by your fruits. And it's a bad fruit to follow Muhammad. He's a child molester. He's a criminal. He's a caravan rider. He's a liar. He's a cheater. He go to his own son, taking the wife from the husband. If his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her. Extreme evil. Not only he broke the Ten Commandments, he broke every commandment. Murderer. Thief. Taking women, they are not his. Forcing men to give their women. Seeking the best of the booty, the fifth of the booty. 
even he have a privilege, all of them about six in heaven. He's a cult leader. And if your leader is a self-worship man, and then you start worshiping him to the point if somebody criticize him, you kill him. That is telling you how foolish your cult is. You will see the Shia person, he is being very friendly. But if I go where he is coming from, I will be killed in two seconds. Two seconds. So they are friendly somewhere, but they are so aggressive somewhere. And he mentioned that actually. He said, CP, I don't live there. I live in Canada. So if you go to a different place, you would do the opposite? With the Christ, it doesn't matter where you go. Love your enemy. Bless those who curse you. You live in here, you live there, it doesn't matter. You speak to someone is white, black, Asian, it doesn't matter. For the Lord, He will recognize us only by our fruits. And our fruits is a fruit of faith. It's not the fruit will save you, but the Bible says it clearly that dead faith is the one who don't have a fruits. True faith automatically produce a fruit. So you don't do good fruit because, oh, I want to go to heaven. No, but because you have good faith in Jesus, that automatically will change the quality you have. Your good quality after believing in Christ automatically will make you produce good fruits. The Bible speaks about the weeds. There's a lot of weeds. They grow so easy everywhere. That is Islam. But nobody can eat weeds. We struggle with them. We hate them. We fight them. Islam is easy. Just say Subhanallah 100 times. All your sin is forgiven, even if it's more than all the sin of uh, uh, the form of the ocean. This is how easy it is. With the Messiah, if your eye if your eye will mislead you, if your eye will tempt you, if your eye will take you to hell, take it off. No compromise. Either yea, yea, or nay, nay. The Messiah, he wants us to be the highest. Islam want you, want you to be the lowest. Islam make it so easy. Just say Shahada and you will go to heaven. Christ said, do you say to me Shahada? You don't say Shahada? That will not even matter. Not everyone say to me, God, God, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. So saying talk is cheap, human. Believe in lies, practice lies. Convince himself that he is a believer. You are not. And the test of that is what do you do? You say something, you do the opposite. When you sit alone, you know, oh man, look at this. Look what I did. Look what I'm doing. And yes, we commit sin. But there's a huge difference between someone fighting his sin, doing his best to resist his sin, and someone practice sin as a way to live and this is islam islam the muslim they say islam is the way of life but i can prove so easy that islam is the way to sin in fact muhammad he made it so clear that your sin is not even your sin it is destiny even when you sleep around even if you rape even if you kill even if you steal, even if you slaughter. There's a video of a guy, his name, very well known, his name is Mufti Mink. He spoke about a story of a thief brought to the caliphate.
And then the thief, he said to the caliphate, why you are punishing me for a sin decreed by Allah? That is a good question, Mufti Mink, he said. That's a very good question. Why I will be punished if the sin is not even my choice? It's not even right. So imagine you make me commit sin and then you want to punish me for a sin you made me do. Who is the stupid here? Watch this video, please. And tell me why I believe Islam is the most satanic, foolish, stupid religion. All those things together. Listen carefully. A man came at the time of Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu, according to one of the uh, narrations, uh, he had he needed to be punished because he stole. So he comes to Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu and he uses the same line. He says, Oh Umar, oh Amirul Mu'mineen, how can you punish me for having stolen when it was predestined? My deeds were already written by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now that's quite a good argument if you were to look at it. Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu. That is a good argument. Listen carefully. That is a good argument if you want to look at it. Why I will be punished? If the sin I did is a decree, it's not my choice. I mean, who is the stupid here? So you decree for me before I am exist that I will be a thief. And then when I do the theft, you want to punish me for what you force me to do? That is a good argument, Mufti Mink, he said. Listen carefully again and laugh. So he comes to Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu and he uses the same line. He says, Oh Umar, oh Amirul Mu'mineen, how can you punish me for having stolen when it was predestined? My deeds were already written by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now that's quite a good argument if you were to look at it. Mm -hmm. Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu was one ahead of this man. He He's says, ahead. Well, let's punish this man because it was predestined that we were going to punish him as well. Ha <laughs> ha Look how funny now. He's one ahead, you know, it's about, you know, he's one ahead, he's smarter. <laughs> it's destiny for you to commit sin, it's destiny for me to kill you. Can you believe, and they are bragging about it? He agree that this is what Islam teach, it's a predestiny. And now he's confirming that the penalty, the sin, and the act, all of them is decreed by Allah. So what we have, we have a maniac, his name is Allah. He decides for you what you will do. Not only supposed that he knew what you would do, no, no, no. It's a decree. And that's why the guy is asking, why you wanna punish me for a sin? I did not even, I did not choose to do it or not. That is satanic. Because now a Muslim, he will believe, oh, I raped this woman, it's a decree. I killed this man, it's a decree. I stole your money, it's a decree. And actually, this is what happened with this guy. He was wondering why he will be even look, why he's bad. I'm not bad, it's a decree. Do you understand what I'm saying? Why it's so dangerous? This is why this guy, the thief himself, he's asking him the, the caliphate, okay, why, well, well, hold on, hold on. Why you wanna punish me if it's a decree? So if we are believing in Allah, we will start acting as the following. If I steal, it's a decree. If I fornicate, it's a decree. If I lie, it's a decree. If I cheat, it's a decree. So now I cannot blame myself for anything. In fact, Muhammad, he made it clear. He said that fornication is a decree from Allah. Allah, he decides for you the very portion 
of fornication, which you must commit. It's not your choice. Even the sin of Adam was a decree. So when we ask a Muhammadan, what is good about Islam? They always fail to answer. They always give us very funny, silly answers, have nothing to do even with the topic. Islam always fail. Anytime you see this guy, Muhammad Kuz, block him because he keep texting me in Skype when I call him. He refused to answer. So anytime you see him in the chat, anytime I see him in Skype, I will block him. He's just a mental person. So my friends, as you see, victory to Christ. Muhammad is doomed. And there's why. There's a good book actually written by an American. I was surprised that American wrote a good book. It's called The Prophet of Doom. Yes, Muhammad is the prophet of doom. And if you follow him, you are doomed. Your nation is doomed. Your future is doomed. A bad man, he cannot make your life a good life. An evil man who claimed that if you say two words in Arabic 100 times, all your sin is forgiven. That is nothing but Satan promoting evil. That actually a license for sin. Because all what you need to do, say subhanallah wa bihamdihi 100 times. And all your sin is forgiven. Even if it is more than the foam of the ocean. So instead of fighting sin, we are making it so easy. Go do anything you want. At the end of the day, say Subhanahu wa bihamdi in Arabic, not in your language. One hundred times. Do you see how easy it is? You don't do that with Jesus. He will send you to hell. You say Jesus one hundred times. It doesn't work. You say praise Jesus one hundred times. It doesn't work. That is Satan trying to convince you. That sin is your life, is the way to live, is the way to die. Don't worry, even if you sin more than the form of the sea, how big the form of the sea, just say subhanallah wa bihamdihi 100 times. Look how easy. Is it easy? The devil is talking. The devil, the devil is promoting sin. And this is why the Bible says you have to examine the spirit. And the spirit of Muhammad obviously is demonic, satanic, evil. Now this video becomes so long. Please feel free to download it because we don't keep our videos as you know. Thank you bird, Praising, praise the Lord. Download the video, cut it pieces, and then make a topic like a Christian prince speaking with an atheist. Abdul, he called that, you know, we, uh, we are the Muslims, the only one who fear Allah. I mean, give it a name based on the topic, make it short, paste it, and I will support those who make short videos, who summarize my videos, debating Muslims, and I will repost it again so I can promote your channel. I want to say thank you all for being here. I hope today we did some little work to serve all the people. Christian, Jews, Hindus, atheists, we don't hate you. We hate your evil. We hate hate. We hate your fruits. And for that reason, you've been spanked. And now it's time to use Vaseline. Allah cannot heal you. If you want to be healed, pray to the Messiah. The Vaseline of Allah will not work. Ask every single Muslim who spoke to me before. And I will see you again. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. 
And as I know, Sam Shamoon will go live. I don't know if he's live already. Join him, please, if you care. Thank you. God bless you. Take care.